you guys doing today? Uh, I'm coming live from quarantine. Uh, this is a little fucking awkward. Uh, I'd say this is for you guys, but uh, <laughs> it's fucking really for me and my own mental health. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give you some stand-up, some quarantine stand-up. So uh, my name is Stephen G. Uh, I've been doing stand-up uh, off and on for a little more than five years now. Mostly off. Unless you count those mirror gigs. But uh, I had to cut those out, man. Those uh, those crowds can be fucking tough. Yeah. Voices in my head. But, um, yeah. Besides comedy, um, I'm an essential worker. I don't know if any of you guys are essential out there. But um, I've been at my job now for like... 14 years since I was 16 years old I had a baby face when I started there yeah I used to love the holidays I believed in God yeah retail fucks that shit up for you real quick um, you know how you know you hate your job when you refer to it as prison time to co-workers like hey man how long you in for shit 4 to 8 what about you Shit, six to twelve. But yeah, man, uh, retail's a motherfucker, man. You gotta have some kind of a uh, tolerance for stupid people. Cause there's a lot of stupid people out there. Uh, and when you work grocery re grocery retail, you kind of get the bottom of the barrel. Hey, at home stand up. Don't mind the crying. <laughs> or the cussing. I live in a madhouse. Uh, with the, we're a typical Mexican family. Uh, Twelve people in a three-bedroom house. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Quarantine stand-up. Fuck a heckler, right? What are you gonna do about a crying baby? Shake him. I'm just kidding. I lost my train of thought. But yeah, man, uh, grocery sucks, man. Uh, I've been doing that for a while. But you get stupid-ass people, man. And I feel like every year it just gets worse, man. People just get more and more stupid. It's not their fault, though, man. It's the American way. We're bred to be fucking idiots. But uh, yeah, man, it's gotten worse since this pandemic. Uh, they added that uh, plexiglass. I don't know if you guys have been to grocery stores lately, but they got that plexiglass on the cashier registers in the front and the back of us. Which is cool. My managers asked me how I like it. It's like, I don't mind. I guess I won't make as big a mess when I finally get the balls to blow my brains out. So, make it a little easier on Joyce, the maintenance lady. But, uh, yeah. People are stupid, man. I had some lady come through my line the other day. I guess she hadn't been to the grocery store and seen the plexiglass yet, but she looked and she was baffled, like didn't know what to think. She said, oh my God, how you get out? I said, oh, I just hop over when my fucking shift is over. Like, don't be fucking ridiculous. That's stupid. There's a claw machine that picks me up and carries me over and puts me in every day. Like that claw machine behind me to win the stuffed animals. Yeah. Fucking people, man. But, uh, that's not even the worst of it, man. That's just being dumb. But, uh, I just get the ones that, uh, don't even fucking pay attention to you, man. I had some lady in my, uh, line the other day. I asked her, how you doing today, miss? She said, kitty litter. I said, what? She said, kitty litter. I was like, I asked you how you're doing today, not how you get that funky ass smell out of your house. This lady looked like a fucking episode of Hoarders. But I guess she thought I asked what's on the bottom of your basket. Yeah, that sounds like how you're doing today. Pretty close. But, uh, yeah, man, people suck. Uh, so, I work in Avondale. Which uh, isn't that bad. I'm from Maryville, which is uh, more Phoenix. This is more 
West Phoenix. It's nicer. It's not as bad, man, but uh, you still get like cholos through the line every now and then, man. And it just trips me out because I'll get like these old cholo. I had this old cholo come through my line the other day. I asked him, how you doing today, sir? Didn't say shit to me. I know he heard me too because he was standing at the end of the register. He already put all this stuff up. I'm ringing him up. Asked him how he's doing today twice. He just mad dogs me. Got some of the sunglasses and everything. Just standing there. It's like, what the fuck? Who are you, C3 Bendel? Just like, okay, man, whatever. This dude had to have been like 50 years old. I'm like, really, man? Like, cut the tough guy act. It's, you're too old for that shit. Like, calm down. The funny part, though, is that when he went to pay, <laughs> he went to go slide his debit card. This motherfucker had Parkinson's disease. I'm like, really, man? You're going to mad dog me with a shaky ass hand? Like, what are you going to do, Paul? You're shanking, fucking tickle me? You're going to fucking pull out your cuete and fucking miss me? Like, fuck you. Cut it out. If you're an old cholo, just calm the fuck down. It's not that serious. But yeah, man. People suck. Uh, the other day I was uh, stoned and watching the news and they were talking about um, since all this quarantine shit uh, there's been a spike in depression so I'm like all years I'm like oh fuck like, maybe they're right then they pull up the expert and this is how I knew it was Fox this guy comes on and uh, he's talking about the spike He's saying with the spike in depression, we've noticed a spike in suicide too. Like what? Wouldn't they balance each other out? Like if you got suicide going up, wouldn't depression rates go down? Less depressed people. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But uh, yeah man. Uh... My favorite new thing that, uh, not my favorite thing, the, the most weirded out thing about this whole quarantine thing is that, uh, like, people are thanking you for your service. Like, man, I just scan your fucking groceries. That's a, that's a fucking American thing to do, like, thank someone for your service for stuffing my fucking face. Like, I mean, I don't mind it, man. I got cool customers that, like, genuinely mean it. But, um, <laughs> if you're a fucking Karen... And you're thanking me for my service? Yeah. If you don't know if you're a Karen or not, okay. If you've come through my line before this pandemic happened, and you want to speak to my manager, because I wouldn't take your 30 Summer's Eve coupons for your 20 Summer's Eve products, then you're a Karen. And you can take that thank you for your service, wad it up real tight, and shove it up your stinky pussy. But, um, yeah, man. I'm done talking shit. I feel like a psychopath with a fucking remote in my hand. Uh, that's quarantine comedy, y'all. <laughs>